I have like you know I I interview um my my staff I I I I um have meetings with my staff um and my my partners and um to me it's you know everybody have to be um at the same level of understanding uh, uh or at, of at least what I want um and I think very importantly is 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 um to be to, for me, I'll follow three uh, um, qualities, right? Uh, and, and things like professionalism, responsibility, and integrity is something that I um, follow very closely. And I expect my, 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 my guys to, to understand and follow as well. Um, because through that, then, you know, we can build a, a, a really good community with the right mindset, with the right culture, and it all starts from the business, the gym, the, 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 the people who built the gym, uh, the people who built the team, um, because that's how culture is being set. And when ev- everyone is on the same page, um, and when they go out there and they teach, uh, um, be it the members or, or, or private clients and stuff, we all have the same mentality. And, and it's, it's contagious, you know. Um, so if, if, if you follow these qualities and you, you, you coach based on that, um, you will influence your members um, um, to the right path. And, you know, um, you build a very strong uh, community, a very um, uh, bonded community where members are there to help each other, members are there to, to, to influence each other, become friends. Uh, um, and, and like you said, it's more of a community than, to me, what I want to build is more of a, 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 a community than just paying customers. Um, and, and, and of course, I have my own core values. Uh, which I, I, I make sure my guys follow as well. And the thing is, mm, I, I want people to not just come to the gym and sweat, have a, have a good cardio and, and leave. That's what everybody is doing. And it's easy to do. Uh, um, but like, I'm using my strength and uh, um, my guys' strength uh, for follow following me for, for many years. And what we do, you know, core value is um, simply, I want you as a member or client to come in and do a class. And when you leave, you, you, you actually learn something and not just um, have a good workout alone, right? But you learn something, you had a good workout, uh, um, um, and you could bring that skills with you um, wherever you go. And I think that's that interaction and engagement is more fun than just simply going to gym and have a good sweat and have a good cardio. Um, it can be physically, mentally, and technically very uh, uh, fulfilling if you and if we can provide something for you to learn along the way as well. So that's the kind of um, culture I want to set. Of course, like nowadays, uh, um, with the pandemic and stuff, um, technology is, is is something that that we are forced to 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 use um, and adapt to very quickly, right? And um, we we are we are trying to um, what I for me, I'm trying to. Um, use digital um, mediums to reach as many um, members as possible or clients as possible. Um, of course, to not just uh, um, um, members going to the gym, we are trying to target also members who maybe do not have the free time to go to the gym, um, teaching online, um, 
reaching out to to not just um, regular public members but also to uh, businesses to corporates and 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 you know um getting as much uh, exposure as we can along the way um it's it's, it's uh, it's a bit tough now with, with all this close and opening restrictions, but along the way, we are kind of um, thinking of different uh, uh, strategies to upskill as well. Um, I feel as a start, um, you know, Try to calculate your risk, right? So if, if you want to start your own business, if you want to set up your own gym, um, you know, you have to calculate your risk. Um, things like, like your overheads and, and how, how many members can you get, your, your target audience and stuff like this. Um, you you got to be sure uh, uh, um, and making those... Uh, plannings before you actually jump into it um especially during times like this it's it's tough to try to keep ahead you know with with things closing and opening um they're going to be loss of revenues um, and, and, and stuff like this so make sure you you do your planning well um at the same time um know who your target audience is, you know, um, whether you want to be centralized or you want to target neighborhoods. Mm, I think there's no right or wrong. It, it, it depends on, on really who your target audience is or at least what kind of member base you have already built and then you, you know, look, look towards there. Um, but I would say it's, if you want, one like something that's less stress free, then just be a freelance and work at a few different gyms or, or, or on your own. Um, you know, source out clients. Um, that's less stressful. Um, but if you wanna run a business like a gym, doing fitness or martial arts, um, you have to be prepared to deal with uncertainties on a daily basis, like 24 seven. So for me personally, it used to be as a full-time employee, I just teach, upgrade myself. You know, once I'm done with classes, I'm done. You know, I, I have my own free time um, and I don't have to work, right? Um, but if you want to start on your own business, um, especially having... Um, a few guys under you to work for you, then, you know, you got to deal with uncertainty. The work is literally 24, seven, um, seven days a week, you know. Um, and, 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 you know, if you're okay to deal with that, then you just got to persevere and know that there are a lot of ups and downs and, um, you know, seek professional advice or help if you need along the way as well. Yeah. So having good connections is important as well.